And then we have my favorite, so now to see key, right? So quest on here, you have the same thing. You have presets at the top. Now, oh, I haven't talked about this setup A and B. Let's say if I wanted to load this, let's say I like this telephone. I can actually save this setup A. And then let's say, mm, but I decide I don't like setup A. I kind of want to tweak it some more. So I can copy a setup A to B. And so now setup B has the same thing. When I go back to setup A, then I can tweak it a little bit more. And let's say uh, I want it to be over here. Go back to one and say I want it right there. If I'm cool with that sound, let's listen to that. I want to know. I want to know. But then I quickly decide, you know what? Nah, I like the original one better. So now I can actually go to setup B. And setup B is already just like I had it originally. If you, you can also copy from, you know, copy from A or you can copy to A. So if I liked B, I can copy back to A and I can keep tweaking these. So it's a good way to go back and forth. Um, and you can hear the difference. Let's let's put it like. I don't know if you really like me. So that's a good way to toggle back and forth. It's almost like using the bypass, basically. All right, so this is EQ, and of course you have six bands down here. Uh, I can flatten it back out. I can turn each one of these bands on. Each of these bands allow you to do peak, dip, shelving, shelf high, or low pass or high pass filters. All right, you can boost the output level, you know, same way if you feel like you lost some of the gain because you did so much tweaking or uh, subtractive EQ. Subtractive EQ is one of the best EQs that you can do. Basically means that you take out frequencies that you really don't like or frequencies that are causing problems with the audio. All right. So this is enough for about uh, this. But you got, you know, multiple little things you can do there. And you can also add your own presets. 